Hey, hey, it's your girl, Tierra Sharde. How are you? Come on in. It is time for the Divine Message for the Collective. This is your weekend edition. These are messages that will help you navigate this weekend, um, Thursday to Sunday. Um, you know, and take what resonates. This could have already happened, is happening, or will, and this just may not be your story. Definitely take what fits, don't make it fit, okay? And I think I may pull some cards for you tonight, all right? We'll see. We'll see. Um, so for those of you, um, for those of you who check my stories, right? I just posted in my story that I literally just, literally just got up from a nap and a meditation and I felt super, super good. And as I was coming out of that meditation, I heard corporate contracts. And I also heard um, that whatever you had been dreaming of as a child is about to come in for you now. Okay, so let's get into that part. And then we'll get into more of the messages as they're, as they're coming in for your weekend. Okay. Corporate contracts. Now, I don't know your particular situation this could be a couple different things right for some of you this is um like your job right wherever you work you could have gotten um a promotion you could have switched um departments something is going on there where you're you're needing a new contract or maybe um your organization was bought out you know whoever owned the company or the business it was bought out there's a new contract right and you're needing to adhere to that new contract or decide if if you want to adhere to that contract um for others of you like if you're freelance or something like that whatever company it is they decided to switch contracts and that may or may not affect you in whatever way it resonates right but for many of you i feel like this could be a benefit to you um some of you are owners of corporations and you're just having new contracts come in you could have hired new employees you could have hired um a coach um a speaker to come in to speak at your organization whatever it is that has it has to do with corporate contracts for some of you this is you getting a completely new career a completely different path right and I mean different different okay like maybe your career was an elementary school teacher and now you're building skyscrapers in Manhattan like it, it's very different but for some of you I feel like this was something that you had dreamed about right so we get back into that something you had dreamed of or always thought about as a child is coming into fruition now that could definitely tie into this um, for others of you, the, this thing that is manifesting, it was a goal. Maybe you've always wanted to write a book. Maybe you always wanted to own a bicycle um, or a motorbike. A bicycle, I meant a, a motorcycle. Um, maybe you always wanted to build schools, right? Schools for the gifted. Um, something that you always wanted to do as a child is coming into fruition right now. So, um, really take a look at that. For some of you, you taking a look at that could be you going back to your old journals and seeing what you wrote down. Or, you know, just daydreaming. Go into a meditation and speak to your inner child and ask your inner child, Hey, what did you always want to do? Because I think the season is coming up and I need your help. There needs to be a conversation like that, alright? So that answers those two things that came up in meditation this weekend y'all and I, again i'm gonna pull in pull in some cards this weekend you're gonna have a situation or you could have a situation where you're going to be confronted with um for some of you this weekend you're going to be confronted with uh i guess the receipts of your behavior whatever that may be for some people these are really really great receipts Somebody is offering you something. Somebody is asking you out. Somebody is handing you money. They're cutting you a check. If you're an entrepreneur, you're going to make money this weekend. Um, others of you, 
the receipts of your behavior could be well you know maybe you weren't really honest with maybe like a love interest or two and you're going to be found out your secrets may be found out in that way um and you'll be confronted with that you'll be confronted i feel you know and a couple weeks ago or last week i did a video where i, I wanted you guys to be mindful when you're driving and to pay attention to your car also to pay attention to your drinking and your consumption of whatever that is whether that's sex weed liquor arguing petty shit whatever it is you want to be mindful of it this weekend because there's just energies in the air that may not be beneficial to you if you're on a lower vibration let's just say that if you out here doing fraudulent things or you're out here scheming you go meet your match this weekend if you're on that but if you're on something else if you're on something that's high vibrational or that's beneficial to the community whatever that is then you're, you're going to reap the benefits of that and it's going to be a really good look for you okay so let's get into actually let's do these ones let's see okay it's been a while since i pulled some cards on here i'm just fixing my nose on. since i pulled some cards on here but i really want to pull some for you and wow we have the king and queen of wands showing up many of y'all you may know that i don't really read the cards traditionally i take in whatever is coming through um so this is a creative endeavor i'm really still getting contracts with this i'm still getting something that you have dreamed about but you're manifesting something you, you see all this fire here i'm definitely getting sagittarius season i'm definitely getting um the phoenix rising from the ashes right now I feel like somebody dealt you a heavy hand. Somebody really tried to hit you. There could have been a psychic attack. There could have been spell work. There could have been just ill wishes sent your way. And I feel like you really pushed through that shit. This weekend, you could very well be receiving confirmation of something that you thought was going on behind the scenes. You're going to get the guarantee that it absolutely was going on behind the scenes. Others of you... You're go you literally <laughs> you was literally alchemizing some shit if somebody sent you negative energy you was just alchemizing it for some of y'all y'all was stirring it up so that you could use that energy for a creative project and that creative project could very well come in an offer for something could very well come in this weekend or it's formulating it's being built and mended for you to um to benefit from this weekend okay this could even be a person somebody has really been digging deep into their self they've been doing their shadow work and their inner child and also somebody feels very 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 passionate about you they feel like you're their twin flame you could be their twin flame you probably are their twin flame but y'all be mindful you don't have to be with your twin flame especially if they're not on your um vibrational level right now especially if they're not really walking fully in their purpose you can say like nah like i'm not i'm not being with my twin flame because they're still toxic you can make that decision it's not like all right so don't i want to be mindful when i say that because like i don't want people to get caught up in these labels and caught up in in the fantasy aspects of this divine journey this divine romantic journey you don't have to be with your twin flame if he beats you every night. That's ridiculous. Let it go. All right. So I, I really want that to be made clear. Let's see what else. Um, and also, I feel like something that you may have passed up is actually the best thing that you could have accepted. It was kind of like it was kind of like a pot of gold that was sitting in a burlap sack. See, literally four cups. I'm telling you. It was literally like a pot of gold that was sitting in a burlap sack and you found out and it was too late because you had already given away something that was being gifted to you. For some of you, you're realizing it's too late. For others of you, yeah, yeah, see, like I said, some of you, you're realizing it's way too late. You can't come in. You can't rewrite the past. For others of you, um, it's this shock. I feel like you were surprised that something that you turned down or something that you walked away from was really what you had been praying for the whole time or it it was 
the situation would have allowed you to get what you had been wanting the whole time but there was something about you not wanting it or you not taking the offer or you refusing it for whatever reason and this is a very specific message by the way and this weekend I feel like you're gonna realize or you have already realized this but this weekend you're gonna have something else that comes in as a big realization that you walked away from something that was really good for you that you had been wanting anyway all right so this is this is some sort of offer that that has come in for others of you this is advice you're gonna get an offer coming in and it may look very small at first but it's actually a big deal and you're gonna want to take it for some of you this ties into what you had been manifesting okay I feel like that's gonna come up this weekend and um, actually the rest of the month this is gonna be the energy I just got that that's gonna be the energy the rest of this month Wow <laughs> this is very wow this is very very big hang on oh this is a very big deal okay There's a lot happening, okay? There's a lot happening behind the scenes as well as in front of your face. So the divine is wanting you to take control. For some of you, you, you have a controlling aspect of your personality that could have caused you to fumble the ball in a situation. I feel like you're going to get a second chance to make a first impression with something or someone. And you're going to want to take that chance because you're going to be able to start a new cycle, okay? For some of you, this is romantic. Somebody's going to come back to you and be like, this is what I learned and this is what I'm thinking can happen next. You may take it or not. It depends on you, but there is a new cycle here. The divine wants you to know that everything that you had been trying to manifest up until this point, it's literally coming into fruition. Literally everything that you ever manifested is coming into fruition right now. Like, ugh, this energy is crazy. Okay. Um, a home, love, sound career, lots of money, what, what, anything that you ever dreamed of, you're going to get it. The only thing that's required of you to do right now is to keep your eyes forward, keep your eyes on the prize. Don't, don't steer off the path. I'm talking to somebody who's also on their soul's purpose path. She's on her path. She's on her path. She's taking a leap of faith. She's listening to the Most High Creator. She's following the guidance. So this weekend, there's going to be um, intel that's going to come in for you to follow that guidance. Again, like I said, something you dreamed of when you were a child, as well as corporate contracts are being represented here. So I hope that helps. That's your divine message for the collective. I'll probably be back and do another message. There's, there's a bunch of messages coming in, y'all. I wrote them down. So, um... I'll get to them for you, okay? And again, my name is Tierra Sharde. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, if you'd like to book a ritual, if you would like to enroll in the Sacred Sisters Circle, shout outs to the sisters. Um, the Pussy Porter program starts February. So make sure you click the link in the description to get in where you fit in and book some time with me, okay? I love y'all. Take care.